welcome Taurus to your October heart spread. This reads uh, who you're thinking of, who's in your heart. If I can be so corny, and I think I can really pick up on who's in your heart. That's the way I designed it. Um, you might be with them, you might not. It uh, picks it up. Uh, my fiance Aurora in the background in Aries. I just did the Aries reading a while ago, and it was uh, a smack on. <laughs> I don't know. What are you gonna do? I guess it should be, huh? Main things don't worry about. Taurus, you're good. I have an empty ninth house. Uh, that's where I get a little fussy about the cards. I have decks for a long time because I take them out, use them, immediately put them back, and you know, treat them like a, a sacred objects. You know? So, uh, we look at you and your person. You're kind of the first card, second card, your person, and you're kind of the first house. I mean. Think of it like that. This person's going to be your uh, seventh house, your projection of your anima, animus. I already shuffled like six times in between. Uh, we're talking. Yeah. Getting really positive reads. Thank you, Spirit. Because it, it is what it is. I can't. The singles read. I'm trying to come up permanently with that starting 1st of October. And that's always positive because it's simply asking who is your soulmate. What, who are they? Can we describe them? I want to get the bead on them. You pull a lot of signs and stuff, so it can't really go wrong. <laughs> it's your soulmate. You know. Heart spread is what it is. Let's see what we got. Or who's on Taurus mind today? The Emperor. Let's talk about Aries. <laughs> the Emperor. So this is where your mind and heart is at in around relationships. I try to separate it a little bit from where you're at in terms of your person, which I'll then show in a second here um, with this uh, third card, okay? Um, and being the emperor, really good energy coming in a relationship with them. Um, you're strong, particularly this one though. You look how he's kind of haughty, got the nose up in the air, so it could be a little of that energy. <clears throat> You've got uh, the Aries Ram there being pronounced with this particular deck, it's the Ethereal Visions um, Illuminated deck. Um, I don't, you're not someone's going to be taken advantage of, I'll say that, and wow, what a way to be met. Your person comes in with the major, another major arcana, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you're coming in being very solid, I'd say. Um, you're either mature or you've got to be past first set of return, like 30-ish and over, uh, probably older, and, you know, very well established, uh, and there's an element here of coming into this relationship of any relationship where you're at in relationships is you're not ready you're not going to compromise and you're not going to settle at all like if you know they don't just this littlest thing if it's not right it's not right you're just like i'm not having it i think that's the energy and you just that's you just bringing that energy so here comes your person wheel of fortune you know it's jupiter energy with that, I mean, I really don't want to jump to Sagittarius here, Taurus. But I think, like, you find your person at a moment of time um, when something's breaking for them. Could be you. <laughs> um, because something's breaking for them. Like, if this person, your person here, Crosswatcher, talk to me if you're there. Uh, comments are welcome, by the way. Please do like. Uh, subscription helps a lot. <laughs> Uh, if you like what we're doing, check out the Soul Family Read, too. It's in the description, collective read of today for you know, whoever resonates. But Wheel of Fortune has so many possibilities, and one of them could definitely be, you know, um, maybe when Jupiter goes direct, it's going to be banging on their descendant and coming right across their descendant when it gets full direct, a little steam, and boom, there you are. That's the, what Jupiter brings to their seventh house, something like that. But... Um, it's a very interesting energy to be in when you're kind of apart from them. So, I mean, you'll know if, uh, if you're with this person, you're thinking of them anyway. You must know something about them um, because, you know, it's very much, I don't even want to try to clarify it down. The point is you're meeting them at a particular stage that's very profound for them. OK, 
Okay, and they just probably, I get leveled up in some way, you know? They were a lawyer, now they're a partner, you know? And they were, uh, they got a graduate degree and a bigger job. Um, they got married, they had children, um, but something really positive. I want to look at the bottom, thank you, Spirit. Five, I had this yesterday for somebody in this position. Uh, five of Wands. Wow, so you're really expressing emperor energy here, Taurus. You get it? Emperor could be stubborn, combative, you know, stubborn, the big one. You know, the old Taurus uh, uh, saw about, you know, digging in your heels. Um, but this shows you how you react to them in the relationship. And the way you reacted to them in the Five of Wands is, uh, you're. you're I, I kind of get the feeling like you're testing them, um, but pretty strongly. Like, these are actions. So, I mean, this could be something like you deliberately um, stiff them on a date, or you deliberately just ghost them on a date, and then kind of watching to see how they react. It could be. Or it could be just simply you feel the need. Now, you're, they're the ones on your mind, but maybe they're on your mind because you're feeling like you need to get them away from you. And, um, you know, with the five of wands, at the very least, it would be, you know, a lot of arguing, you know, um, how you're feeling towards them. It's just like that's definitely not what I want in a relationship. Now, look at this with them, ten of cups. Uh, this could go a couple ways, but one of the uh, ways uh, could go. The fact that it's, I find you with the five of wands is really not good. Uh, kind of could indicate to me, at least you feel like, uh, they're really gushing over you. So in terms of how they feel about you, they're, they, uh, they're, they love you. But this is coming too with this Jupiter Wheel of Fortune energy. I think you feel like it could be a little shallow. It's like, yeah, they're, they're acting like the Ten of Cups and maybe, you know, but I, I see you kind of not buying it. And maybe kind of with the Five of Wands, it'd be heavily questioning them, like questioning the veracity of statements, of following up with an, uh, actions. It could be following up with an investigation, you know, like uh, searching on uh, social media. So, interesting uh, here. And a little bit what I get the feeling from the Wheel of Fortune, frankly, to the Ten of Cups. I'm open here, but I've really got a feeling this could be someone who's uh, uh, manipulative, emotionally manipulative and um, could be like a user or something. It could be maybe what you're picking up here, why you got your defenses. I keep wanting to pull in this card, which is the Seven of Cups. This is overall energy. So I have been using that lately in the heart spread. So overall, NG seven of cups that I keep wanting to pull. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. You know, it's kind of like a fuzziness there, emotional turmoil. Um, yeah, injustice. This is your advice. Wow. So this is your advice. Important to note uh, from spirit in this relationship specifically toward your person, what spirit wants to tell you to do. And basically, coming under the five of wands, it's now, it, it seems to me like you want to bring justice to this situation. It almost looks like they did, might have done you wrong in the past. You know, with this, it's Mercury retrograde today, I'm doing it on today, the Monday the 27th. Uh, check out the Soul Family Read today. Um, yeah, there could be something going on there. Maybe they came back from the past and now they're just like, oh, you know, and you're just what you should be in Mercury Retrograde. Do not just, if you just look, call me back. It's like November 13th. It's so all over with. Clears its post shadow. So you look, call me back on the 14th of November. We'll talk about it. That's the best way. Yeah, sort of go. <laughs> Don't even go there. Um, but yeah, so maybe that's the way you're handling it. Five of Wands, you'd like, you know, beating that away with a baseball bat. But it's like basically your call here. I think how, how I'd read this spirit is saying is your call. Let ju you're the emperor, and emperor let justice be served, which it's your call anyway. 
it's a relationship and you always it's always our call you know uh, is but uh, particularly if you're in the emperor energy you know should be and their advice is the fool I get like the sense with them that they got nothing left to lose and it's advice from spirit um, it's also could be the start over card it also can be terribly sincere um, because the fool is you know he, he's not gonna pretend anything he's just so exuberant just lost in the moment the zero kana um, jumping off a damn cliff you know <laughs> with an umbrella <laughs> you know um, it could be something like that like their advice um, and it would that's kind of gives me a feeling coming under the ten of cups it's like the bottom falling out of those emotions like the bottom falls out and like reality comes out and you see I get the sense that you see then uh, it's kind of specific reading with strong uh, re reading um, you see then that they're actually what this wheel of fortune is is they're kind of falling Icarus and the wings melt falls back to the ground like they went for something gambling maybe literally you know and fell back down Excuse me. <coughs> Man. <coughs> okay, no worries. It is not COVID. Okay, we're good. Uh, we're good. Mm. Okay, so it is our <laughs> Um Yeah, so it's a pretty complex interaction here. And, and it's like... Uh, you're here with justice and when they like fall out of their emotion i say other than that into like reality and you kind of see where they're coming from it's like your choice as to whether or not to kind of catch them or not i mean you are thinking about them taurus so there's something wow eight of pentacles <sighs> work i mean it's pretty strong advice from spirit to work on this relationship that's what I'm thinking, like, there, there's yet a relationship here, you know? You know, the, the Wheel of Fortune, you know, um, it, it could be, it could be not so much that they see you as their uh, home and paycheck. Uh, you know, it could be they see you as some kind of wish fulfillment, too, the uh, Wheel of Fortune and Ten of Cups. Um, it could be a little bit of too good to be true, too when you throw the fool into it. And I'm talking about that bottom dropping out. But it's like that needs to happen. There's like a pretense. And maybe what your combativeness is here, Taurus, with the five of wands, is, you know, just tell me what the fuck is really going on. Sorry to say, fuck, I'm trying not to go. Tell me what the, <laughs> what the F is going on, you know? It's like I can handle it, you know? I'm the freaking emperor here. Don't, you know come give it to me and then for them it's going to be like jumping off the cliff to tell you right but spirit's telling you to work on this and it means work on it and it could be eight months sir with the eight of pentacles i would go there no problem with that and four swords and heal it wow so i keep in mind too these are not always romantic relationships it's heart spread for who's on your mind I was saying the other day, God, God, I want to do an animal read for like what your animal wants you to know. It's like a good read for love, which I, I haven't done, but I really think it would be helpful. Um, and so this is um, what you need to know is there has to be this healing. And that's what this relationship is for. It's like all about healing. I, I don't even want to like clarify the four swords because... Um, it's like to me saying the point of this relationship is healing like if you look at the composite chart you got the eight of pentacles and the four of swords it tells you a lot like what a relationship is about what is the mean like why if you ask like why are you in this what does it do for you how you know that's going to show you um you know so this could be some emphasis upon the tenth house fourth house maybe sun and moon opposition something like that in composite and this to me is soul work you know when when i see this it's like um and i'm saying it kind of carefully because you know it, there's a season and a reason 
and for you guys it's a season and a reason that you're together um, but I think part of what needs to happen is for you guys to figure out yourselves uh, what exactly it is between you um, that you have and the Emperor wants to tell you cross watcher that, that you nothing's going to happen until you, you knock it off and just come clean tell them whatever it is because they can handle it all right so thank you guys <laughs>